Welcome, ma'am. Glad you made it. Thank you. Lori from Tennessee. Tennessee's here. Welcome, Lori. Glad you made it. This is Candy from Texas. Candy from Texas, north, south, east, central, what part of Texas, Candy? From Dallas. That's my favorite, my second favorite <laughs> city to visit. <laughs> Welcome and glad you made it. Welcome to the team. Yvonne from Los Angeles. Los Angeles is in the house. Welcome, Yvonne. Welcome to the team. Glad you made it. Thank you. Richard from Illinois. Illinois is here. Welcome, Richard. Glad you made it. Or somebody sounded Got like another Thomas. Richard here from Las Vegas. Las Vegas is here. There we go. Welcome, Richard. Glad you made it. It's Anita from St. Louis. St. Louis is in the house. Welcome, Anita. Thank you. Go ahead, David. David Toombs, where are you calling in from? Uh, Bradenton, Florida. There we go. Bradenton, Florida. Florida's finally represented. Here we go. Yeah. Welcome, Wendy David. Case, Wendy Case from Weatherford, Texas. Weatherford, Texas is here. Welcome, Wendy. Glad you made it. Thank you. Boris from Maryland. Where are you calling from, Boris? Maryland. Maryland. Welcome, Boris. Glad you made it. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, look at We got to hit that. We got the uh, OP. Yep. We hit the big admit all button. There we go. Welcome, everybody. We got a few people still on muting. What time we got? Okay. Welcome to the RRR 247 and Direct to Consumer Ambassador Team Conference Call, the big announcements call. I told everybody before the last crew just jumped in here, write this down on a piece of paper. Never miss a Tuesday night call. All the big announcements, everything you need for your success rate is going to be talked about, announced, launched on Tuesday night. Anytime, listen to this, anytime. Rory and Tanya are going to add something to the system to help you build, help you hit your goals, help you make more money. It will always be done on a Tuesday night, never any other night of the week. Tuesday night, launch on Tuesday, train on Saturday. Launch on Tuesday, train on Saturday. Get to know that schedule. So Tuesday night is the most important night for the week for you. We just heard from um, 17 brand new people joining the team, joining the family. That was great to see. But I know there's more out there, but I'm going to say last call right now. If you're brand new, welcome to the family. Click on the little microphone in the lower left-hand corner or tap the space bar on your keyboard. Say hello. Don't forget to say what state you're calling in from and welcome to the call. Last call, last call. Liz from Kansas City. Kelman Liz Keith. from Kansas City. Welcome, Liz. Glad you made it, ma'am. Carol from Montana. Montana's here. Welcome, Carol. Glad you made it. All right. Two more? Anybody else? Sean's here. Speak up, Sean. Where's Sean? Sean, Sean Carnes Sean. from Denton, Texas. There Denton, you Texas, go. in the house. Welcome, Sean. <laughs> Glad you made it. I got one head to re-download Zoom. She's coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody on, else? Yeah, come on, Cindy. Speak up, girl. All right, I'm going to go Cindy, ahead. I'm Cindy from Colorado. There Cindy you go. Cindy from Colorado. There you go, Cindy. <laughs> and you are, you are number 20, so unfortunately, if you didn't get a chance to say hello, don't worry, you're going to get a chance next week. And I'm going to hit a couple of big buttons because we got to get going. We already went two minutes over. We're supposed to start right at the top of the hour. And here we go. I think I hit that. I hit that. I hit that. Uh, Bree, Dina, Linda, somebody get the rest of the buttons for me? Yep. And so okay. welcome, everybody, to the Triple R247 and Direct Consumer Ambassador Team Conference Call. There's a lot of great things happening. If you're brand new, oh, my goodness, are you in the right place at the right time? Because there are some amazing things happening. And you, you, uh, you're, so, you're very fortunate to be here right now. For all the brand new people, my name is Niall Eddie. I'm calling in from Central Florida. That's why I always get so excited when I see some of the other Floridians get on the call, just like we do when Linda sees an Ohioan get on the call. <laughs> Somebody from Ohio. Um, it's a beautiful thing to see, but we just had 20 new people. Every week we have 20 new people joining the team, 20 plus new people. Sometimes it's 30 plus new people. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's great momentum, but it's a beautiful thing to see 
to witness and be a part of all the different states being represented every single week. And so for all of you that are new, I'll introduce myself quickly. My name is Niall Eddy. I live in Central Florida. I've been in this industry for th almost 35 years now. I've known the Rickers, the co-founders here, for 30 of those 35 years. I've seen a lot of fantastic things uh, happen over the last three decades. It's been amazing. But I, what I get to do tonight is to introduce you to them so you know who they are, so you know who you're getting in business with. You know their track record. This isn't a company being run by people who don't have any experience in this industry and just you know jumped into something amazing because they thought it was an amazing thing to be a part of. There's a lot of over three decades of experience by both of them. Um, and that's who's leading this company. I've been here for 34 years, like I said, and worked with them for 30 years. I was a young entrepreneur when I met Roy the first time. Somebody told me because I wanted to advertise all over the country and I needed a voicemail that could handle a lot of volume. They said, go talk to Murray. So I did. I was doing a mail order program and I wanted to advertise in a lot more newspapers, top of the mailing list that I was using to get more out there. And I got, I called a number to that company and they put Rory on the phone. And I met this young man with incredible energy, first of all, but also a real deep love and passion to help other people, especially explain the system that he put together for everybody. But I, I learned something else. He had this love for mass communication that I've, I've never witnessed before. I never knew anybody that was so much in love with mass communication. He showed me the system he put together. It handled all the volume I could throw at it. He made a mistake that day when he said, Niall, if you have any questions, here's my personal phone number and call me anytime you have a question. Well, guess what? I did almost every day for about three weeks because I'm not a techie. I don't, me and technology, you know, I get along really good with the computer today, but 30 years ago, no, I did not. I'm 62 years old. I didn't have computers in my classroom going to school, right? And I'm already, I've got a good level of success. And when Roy said, let's get a computer and the world's our oyster, I said, nope, 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 I don't need one of those. And I told him, you know, I've been very successful. I'm doing good. And he said, yeah, well, that was one country. Imagine if you can repeat that in all these other countries. The, the light bulb went off, so I went and got a computer. But I got into this industry by mistake, right? The, I, I was just looking for to make an extra $500 or $1,000 a week. I was an ex-construction worker who hurt his back, went back to school to be an aviation mechanic, get my associate's degree in avionics. I thought that was my new passion because I had a doctor tell me, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to be crippled on the front porch in a rocket chair by the time you're 40. So I switched careers at 30. And it wasn't easy going back to school. I had a wife and three kids in tow with me. Um, but I figured I could do it. I'm a big believer. I just put my mind to anything that I could do it. So I went back to school. Um, I had like one more semester to go. And I was introduced to this industry. Now, I've seen, you know, my ex-wife and my sister and my aunts and everybody um, dabble in this industry before. I've seen people do an Avon undercover wear lingerie. And every time we got involved, you know, we had Tupperware flowing out of the cabinets, home interiors on every wall, Emperor Chef in all the cabinets. And that's great products and it was great stuff but Niall never seen it as a career even though it is for many of them I never seen it as a career where I could make the kind of money that I was looking to make uh, as a career so I wasn't really paying attention to anything but when I seen the one I got involved with 30 years ago 34 years ago um, something was different about it something just got my attention I dove in took a good look at it and I said this looks like a, a good company to be a part of it looks like a great product um, you know, studying some of their literature and it's it's different than what I've ever known. So well, let's let's do this. And if we can make an extra five hundred or thousand dollars, you know, just to spoil the kids more on the weekend, I was gonna be happy with that. Well, we made that the very first month of business. I didn't know what I was doing. I just put my heart and soul into everything that it told me to do before I even understood what I was doing. And and our phone was ringing off the hook and business was growing. We hit our goal, we exceeded it. And that second month, I thought, wow, if I can do, if I can make $1,000 my first month, I should be able to just double my effort, make $2,000 the second month. And we did that. And that's what I've always done. I hit a goal and I say, well, if I can make this much, I know how to do this. Now I can make this much. If I can hit this much, now I can make this much. And I kept setting those goals. But I was having a blast doing it. I finished school. I went to work at the airport on letters of recommendation. And I was only there for about eight months. We're having so much fun with our new business and making so much money that I, I told, told my wife I was going to go to work and just give her my three-week notice 
and quit after spending all that money to get that license to be able to do that. I was going to quit that job. And it was a pretty good job. I loved working on small aircraft. I loved general aviation. Um, and I went in that day and I told him I gave him a three week notice. Gosh, the guy was so upset with me. He said, now, if you're serious, you can take your toolbox and go home today. And I got this big smile on my face and I shook his hand and thanked him. Grabbed my toolbox and went home. It was amazing. And I think he just stood there in awe that I was happy that he told me to go home today. But I went home and I've never looked back. I've been home ever since. And it's been a great ride. I went from the dad who was lucky to get home in time to have dinner with his kids. Usually it was give him a kiss on the forehead, tell him to go brush their teeth and go to bed, right? Now I went, now I'm the dad who got to put him on the bus, take him off the bus, go to every football practice because my son played football, go to every volleyball practice because I had a daughter who played volleyball, go to every cheer camp and be the silly dad on the sidelines with the pop palm. And when they needed a bowling coach for the high school, I became the bowling coach. I raised my hand and became the bowling coach. Why? Because I could. And I do love bowling, but it gave me more time to spend with my kids. Every decision I made, everything I've ever done was all about my kids. How much time do I get to spend with them? And what can I do for them? What kind of life can I give them? So that's when I really dove into the business. I left the airport. I dove in. I became a student of this industry. And I became a student of the system that I was working at that time. And I studied all the time. And I wanted to be the best student that I could be because I wanted to be as successful as I could be. And I was on a phone call one day and I heard some people talking about a meeting that they were having. And it was not too many, just a few hours away from where I was living at the time. I drove out to that meeting and I seen these people walking, standing in front of the room. Some of them walking across the front and they were sharing their incomes with everybody in the room. And I thought, oh my gosh, look at you. I, could, I just, I was amazed at, at the level of income how much money these folks were making. And I just needed to know, what do these people know that I don't know? And as they came around and they walked past, I stood up and I, I shook all their hands. I wanted my face to be a little familiar to them because at the dinner that we were going to all have together later, um, I was going to go up and you know try to talk to them. And I wanted to be a little familiar to them at least. And uh, I got to talk to every one of the ones, I, probably 10 or 11 of the people that I wanted to talk to, the top money producers in the room. And I was kind of interviewing them a little bit, picking their brains without, you know, making it look like I was picking their brains, just being uh, 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 casual about the conversation. And here's what I learned from each one of those people. Now, these were people from all different occupations, all different parts of the country, all different educational backgrounds, they, from, from plumbers to roofers to um, lawyers even, and doctors. And there was, there was an incredible amount of people in the room. And I wrote down everything that they told me. And here's the common thread. Here's the one thing that made the difference between them and me. And I want all you new people to write this down. The only difference between them and me is they were doing it longer. And all of them told me that personally. They were doing it a lot longer than me. But if I just stayed the course and I didn't make the one mistake that we can make in this industry, don't give up on myself and, and don't quit, that I would be there too. If they had 10 years in and they're making... X amount of dollars or 20 years in making X amount of dollars. If I poured my heart and soul into it, that same amount of time that I could probably even make more than they did at that time because of how everything was changing and getting better year after year after year. So that's what I did. I went home and I took that. I'm a big believer in what one man can do. Another man can do. I studied and I, I studied the industry and I studied uh, the system that we were working I poured my heart and soul in it. Every time I hit a goal, I hit it. I set a new goal. I hit it. I set a new goal and I hit it. What, what did it do for me? It opened up two doors that I never knew existed. It gave me time freedom for one. I could take all the time off I wanted because I was building my business around my family. I spent as much time with my children as I possibly could. And it also gave me financial freedom. How many of you dads out there have experienced what I was doing back then? We take the kids on vacation once or twice a year. We swipe that credit card like crazy, right, to make sure they had a really good time because all these kids go back and they compare their vacations after summer break is over, right? And I wanted my kids to have some of the best stories and feel really good about the summer that they had on the vacation dad took them on. And then I got home or, or later on in the month, that envelope came in the mail with the credit card bill in it. You open it up and look at it, and the guilt set in about how much money you just spent on that vacation. Am I the only one that felt that way? No? Okay. So here's what, here's what changed for me. 
once I got serious about this industry and I dove in, I never felt that again the rest of my career, ever. Actually, I had an accountant paying my bills, so he opened an envelope. It was a funny thing, but whatever my kids desired, whatever their hearts desired, anything they needed, anywhere they wanted to go, I never again had to say, well, maybe next week. Uh, we'll, maybe we'll go there um, next summer. This summer we're going here. Never. Never. Whatever the kids wanted, wherever they wanted to go, I could do it. Never think about it. I swiped two cards as often as I could to make sure they had the time of their life. See, it wasn't about the money. It was about the lifestyle and everything that I could do for my kids. Being home and what more can I do for my kids? That was my driving force about everything. And, you know, I was very successful, obviously, because I've been home ever since. Um, there was one time I thought I was going to retire. I went into uh, be a store manager in the big box industry, the big, big box stores. I think I was there for about a year and a half, and I thought, I don't know how people do this. I can't do it. I'm going home. And if I don't want to be bored and retired, then I'm going back. And usually I'd call Rory up and say, I don't know what I was thinking, buddy. What are we getting to now? Please get me involved. And that's the way it was for the rest of my life. Um, so we've had a great time, and we've marketed and done a lot of great things over the years. Rory hooked me up with that voicemail. And here's what here's the big surprise that helped me um, build nationwide the way I did. In that system, through that phone company that he had, he showed me how I could put a message on it and shoot it out to everybody at the same time. 10, 15, 20, 25,000 people. This was in 1991. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have any of that technology that we had today. But we had a young kid with a love for mass communication. He, he did this in that system that he built at the phone company and allowed us entrepreneurs to go everywhere and build all over the country. But then in 93 or 94, the internet hit everybody's home. All of us entrepreneurs wanted to get online and build our business. Well, not all of us. I was reluctant. But that's when Rory really found his niche, right? He left the phone company, got online, became the number one uh, guru right there on the internet. He specialized in lead generation. Nobody can produce leads like he knew how to do uh, so easily. No one can produce the quantity of leads he could produce. No one can produce the quality of leads that he knew how to produce. And there was a lot of other companies out there trying to do it. And trust me, it wasn't uh, a very friendly industry with some of those guys. They were overcharging for a lot less. Rory became the number one lead gen guy because he nurtured every relationship. He did everything the right way. He took care of everybody. And he ended up building friends and customers and relationships and business partners all over the world now. I remember a couple of years into getting online, having a conversation with Rory. And I said, do you realize I'm getting checks out of like 18 countries now? And I've never visited those countries and I don't speak their language. It's amazing what we were we're able to do with this internet. So the guy that didn't like computers fell in love with computers one day and realized that we can, what we can accomplish. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been a great ride. After when I got to meet him for the first time in Miami, he flew from out West and came to Miami. I found him had dinner with him, got to know him. That's when I shook his hand for the first time. We built a great relationship over the phone. Now I shook his hand for the first time, looked in his eyes and really got to see this energy and listen to a lot more of what this guy had to say. And Carmen, he's one of those people who look you in the eyes the entire time he's talking to you. He never looks away because he really wants to know what you've got to say and how he can have a positive impact on your life. That's the day I knew this is one of the good guys. This is somebody I want to know for the rest of my life. I have no idea what was going to happen. I had no idea it was going to be so great and so, so big and so powerful, but I knew he was one of those good guys that I wanted to know for the rest of my life, right? A couple of years later, I got to fly out to Utah and meet his lovely wife and co-founder, business partner here, Miss Tanya Rickard. I walked in the front door of their home and I met this young mom raising, raising seven kids. And she has some that played football too. Six of them played football. I had one that played football and I know what he put me through. She's raising seven kids. Six of them played football um, and running several other businesses while she's trying to get this business off the ground with Rory and helping him with all the training and do it and pay, uh, you know, teach them the message that they want to take out to the world. One of the most organized people I've ever met in my life, not just with the kids and her businesses. This is a woman who schedules every minute of every hour of every day of, and every week and every month and schedules things two years down the road. Look at Linda's face at least two years down the road and everything happens on time the way it's supposed to because of somebody that can plan and, and organize 
the way Tanya does. I've never met anybody that organized. But that day is when I realized how well these two complement each other, right? The skill set and the technology of Rory, business sense, the organizational skills uh, and the uh, that Tanya had complement each other perfectly, but they both had the same passion to help other people and take this message around the globe. And that's exactly what we're going to do in every country, on every continent, until we find every family there is to give them a hand up and change their the quality of their life, improve the quality of their life, no matter where they're at, whether they're here or they're here or they're already here. If they need a hand up, we can help improve the quality of their life even more. That's our life mission. And that's what we're excited about doing. I knew that these two were going to be a power couple once I seen them together for the first time, their big hearts and their drive. And something Jim Rohn said to me 25, 26, 27 years ago was this. Niall, the true legends on this planet are people who find the ways to help the most other people. When I sat back and thought about that, the first people that came to mind were Rory and Tanya. I knew that they were going to be the legends that get out there and help the most other people. I was excited to know them, but I was excited to be a part of what they were building. Now, here we are three decades later. It's so much easier, so much better, so much more fun, and so much bigger than anything that we had back then. And that's what you guys are getting involved with. And all the stuff that's being added right now, your timing couldn't be any better if you're brand new. And if, if after you hear a couple of the people who have been here for a while explain it all to you, you're going to go, wow, did I come at the right time? So here's my question to you and answer. If you're looking for a place that you can build yourself an incredible income while also helping other people along the way, then you have found your home. And the answer is welcome to Triple R247 and direct to consumer ambassador. We all welcome you with open arms. You're going to meet a, a lot of different trainers and mentors like Linda and, and Andy and other people you see on the screen that dedicate a lot of time and energy to help you, whether they know you or not, build your business, be successful, and help us take the mission around the planet. But without any further delay, I know we started three minutes late and I just went over a little bit too. I'm happy to introduce to you our co-founders to let you guys know who you're getting in business with. Two people who get up every morning, have a meeting with their coffee and say, what can we do to help Carmen and Candy and Richard uh, and Deborah and Belinda and Shirley and Carl build their business? What can we add to the system to make it better? What can we add to help them understand it and train them faster and get the stuff out there so they can hit their goals, quit their part-time job, even quit their full-time job. When I quit my full-time job, it was a it was a joyous day. When I get to help somebody else quit their job, it's like celebrating it all over again. And it's an exciting thing to be feel to, to be a part of and feel good about. Um, so that's why I'm going to spend the rest of my life. And I probably got at least another, I don't know, 50 years that I could help build this and spread it around the world. So without any further delay, I want to introduce to you guys my best friend other than my one lovely wife over there. <laughs> I call him my brother now because I've known him for three decades and I know his kids, like the one you see up there on the top, uh, one of their daughter-in-laws. They, they know me as Uncle Dial. I know their kids. They know my kids. We celebrate holidays together. We travel the world together. Roy and I get to go fishing anywhere. We can find a boat to charter wherever we go. And uh, they, they're near and dear to me, but they're near and dear to everybody because I know what they bring to the table and what they can help other people do. My brother, all of our mentors, co-founder, Mr. Rory Rickard, the microphone is yours and these people can't wait to meet you. We can't wait to meet them too. And I really yeah. can't wait to meet everybody live. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I'm getting really excited again because Monday is going to be a founder's call with our number one anchor offer, Villa Vida. Monday, we're going to be hearing from Costa and he's going to be dropping some awesome freaking stuff for us on Monday. So we will not be doing the, the normal, like the first Monday of every month is the founder's call with the exception of May. Uh, single day mile, May 5th is a Sunday. Write it down. Um, you want to be in a very good spot. It's going to be in the afternoon. So those are going to church. You know, you're going to, you're going to still be able to go to church. So it's going to be in the afternoon, three to six o'clock. Eastern, pretty sure that's the time. Um, 
And you're going to be going to Bellavita.live, but we're going to be having watch parties throughout the country. Those need to be announced pretty soon, and if you can make it one of those, perfect. We we usually like to do get it together. However, this year, Tanya and I will be coming to you guys from the host city for the event. You guys, we are in a true global company, All right? And uh, if you guys, I want you guys to like log in, not right now, log in later, log into your Bella Vita. I, I'm in there every day, right? We're in there working. But log into log into it and look at the leaderboard. Now you're going to see a lot of triple R two four sevens. You're going to see some LIS lists coming in there now. That, that, you know we represent North America, and also just so you guys know, Israel is on that list, and that is a personal to me. The first person in Israel, and it, you guys, it comes from the marketing that we do. And I'm I'm going to share with you guys how we do it. We're going to spend some more time on this, and I need you guys to pay attention today. Um, thanks everyone. I, you, you, and I got to tell you, it's not out of my warm market. I, you know, I have a lot of relationships in the lead generation business out of Israel. They just do different work and, and they are hungry. You, you guys, I want you guys to understand they're at war. Their country is at war and they've been at war a lot and they're still looking for opportunities and way to grow. And, and, um, and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm, I'll let you guys know where it is, but I do a call every Monday now to build Israel. Now that that goes under whoever is under that side, right? Gets gets help. But you guys, we're going to be teaching everybody how to expand and grow. And I might have lead generation coming for Israel now that we're there. I, you guys, there is so much we get to do. Now, and I want to talk about that prospect um today today we got a lot of housekeeping where I'm trying to get everybody ready for April 20th. April 20th is the official launch Brain Food Academy. It's also the launch of other things. It's going to be a three hour, like you guys, you're going to get used to these three hour things. So April, boom, April 20th, it's a Saturday. Then May 5th is a Sunday. All right now we have a Punta Cana event and I'm going to talk about that. We have several here that are close to getting their, their, all the hotel paid for. Um, some are working towards the, the airfare. That's freaking fantastic. However, I'm going to cover a couple things today, and I need you guys to take it to heart. All right? Kenya and I have sacrificed a lot to create what you guys have here with Triple R247. And we did it to allow people to, to accomplish their dreams because we understand how to do it. We've been doing it. But it takes consistency and it takes you changing the priorities in your life so that you can get the life you deserve. There's no secret. You have to align your day right to get what you want out of it. There's no secret there. It just Nothing is just going to happen. And if, and if you're not happy getting what you have, you got to change what you're doing or you're not going to change what you get. We all understand that, right? What, what's, what's the term? What's, what's that quote? It's... Um, the term of insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting something different, right? We all understand that. We all know it's real, okay? But I want you guys to just understand. We give you everything here, all the knowledge, all the training, and we support you in teaching you how to, to do everything, and we fund the marketing to kick it to a different level. You just got to show up for yourself. You just got to... You know, I always say we, we, we created a smorgasbord of success, and he's amazing. But we cannot force you to sit down at the table and eat it. We can't force you to, you know, to grab a plate and go serve up. You've got to do something. You've got to meet us, right? you are got to show up. Um, you know, I, I had a good friend that would always say, you know, I love working with people, but you know, it, you can you, they need a life preserver, you know, a life preserver tossed to them. I think there's another term for that, but a life preserver tossed to them and to rescue them. They're drowning in financial, you know, waters and and stresses that come from that. And you throw them that the life team, but they won't grab on. They they they, they, just, they just flounder it. And that, to me, it's just a lack of understanding and knowledge because that's what I needed. I didn't have all the answers. I found the answers from other people. From reading, research, studying, lots of prayer. And I'm going to 
I'm going to go into some things today, and I want you guys to get ready. And 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 as great as the technology is that's going to be unfolded to you, it's education that makes it work. You know, and, and, and I'll go over all this stuff, too. And, you know, Niall brings up a great thing. And you guys, he was not a techie, nor are a lot of people we get to talk to, right? I mean, we've helped transition stuff. And what I'm really proud of here is we get to help people understand it to take advantage of it. And if you don't, and you guys, I'm going to I'm gonna drop something big on you guys on this call because you're here on a Tuesday. Uh, and I want you guys to understand it. And I want you guys to, hopefully you guys all are taking some notes. This is our business calls. I can't call you all and have this conversation, right? You know, I get to catch up with, with Niall and Dina because they're close to us when we're here in this area. And, and we can we can sit down and, and catch up. And then the MSIs, we try to talk. You guys, and then when we do our events, like everybody that's coming to Punta Cana, Oh, the information of the attendees there is going to be epic. Just saying. And we're holding out for that. They earn, they're going to earn that by, by working to get there. I'm going to talk about that some more. This is the time I get to talk to everybody. Tanya and I get to talk to you on the Tuesdays. We can't call everybody. You know, Niall always brings up the mass communication. You guys, we didn't have Zoom way back when. We had to do it other ways. This is real time communication with you we're broadcasted out on youtube so we have people watching on a big screen at home we have people that catch it later because they're working right now or they're dealing with kids or they're they're at the church events you know and they're they get to see it later but you guys are here and i'm going to walk you through some technological advances that we're doing there there is if i if it works for me it's going to work for you because we're all on a pbs we got, we all got the performance blogging system you guys, that was developed with a lot of, gosh, trial and error. Putting stuff together. What works, what doesn't work. A lot of experience. New people come in here and they get that as, you know, we, we basically give it away and then teach them how to use it. There are some things that are available in technology and I want you guys to understand we made big moves to make it happen. I saw the future with it. We all do in the marketing world. And I, I need you guys to understand something about marketing. We have all the tools. We develop them and create them because marketing is cutthroat. It's very, very um, competitive. And you guys in the lead generation space, you, you guys understand marketing is valuable. Leads are valuable. Having people to talk to for what you want, that's valuable. It's all about how fast you can grow your business and grow your time and and and, and it's worth spending money, right? You got to spend money in marketing to grow your business. That's a fact. Right? You'll hear me say it all the time. You guys you guys are, you guys always hear me like I say like you know, McDonald's has to spend like, you know, a million dollars a day to, to market. You guys, I'm going to show you some really cool things. Hold on. We're going to go to the Google for a second. I have a very big agenda today, and I'm so excited. I hope I don't. I don't hope I don't uh, go go on about. Um, I'll come back to here. Look, I'm just gonna go here, guys. Now, I like to use Chat GPT. I hope it, let's see if it pulls up. Uh, this is the best search engine ever, by the way. I'm on Chat GPT four. Um, I hope you guys like Chat in this this incredible world of. AI, and I want you guys to understand that artificial intelligence or data mapping and all these things here. It hasn't, it's been here for a long time. We've been use, utilizing a lot of it in marketing and we're building stuff to take advantage of it bigger and bigger. And I'm going to talk about that in a second, but you guys, let me, let me, um, okay, I do this. I bring it up and I bring it down. I'm going to, we're going to do this once guys. And this always creates chaos. I like chaos. I want you to raise your hand, but listen, and I know we got people who think they're going to win something. You're not going to win anything. Listen to me carefully. How many of you here, raise your hand if you think that being part of artificial intelligence is stupid? So I'll make sure I know who I'm talking to. Let me ask another question. If you're not doing things in the web 3.0 space, which is using blockchain technology, okay, Deepak thinks it's not not okay. All right, I got we got one hand on there and, and, I, and that's it. Okay, Dan, okay, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over some things here. 
All right? We're not going to go to Q&A. I just want to see by raising hands, okay? Um, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you, and, and this is just some experience, and I wanted to have this conversation. Um, I dealt in computer telephony before people knew what that term was, okay? Um, we, we took telephones that were just punch cables in, in, uh, in boards that connected, you know, very simple, and went to digital tech. So we can handle more calls at the same time through bigger switches. Um, there's a new technology that came out called ISDN. I'm not going to go into what it is, but we had the first switch in the country. It cost millions of dollars because I knew we knew what it was doing to compound things. And there's a quantum leap of technology. It became obsolete almost overnight, but we learned a lot with it. Well, things get better, faster, shorter, right? Less expensive even. All right. And, you get, and and as technology increases, you notice that our form of communication has been increasing. Like, look, at we're on Zoom right now, which and this is when you guys, the first video phones. I don't know if you guys remember this. I tested them out. They were thousands of dollars each. You could only talk to one person at a time. And it was the worst quality. I don't even know if it was a megapixel. It was horrible. But we liked the idea of it. Right. And I remember getting the first business conference systems. And I went, you know what? One day we're going to be able to put a lot of people in, in a thing. I saw the vision of it. I was told I was crazy. It happened a lot. Here's the other thing. Computers were getting bigger, faster. Personal computers were coming out, right? And this internet thing. Because I had CEOs of a telecommunication company saying that the internet was going to not last. It was going to go out of business. The government wasn't going to stand for it. There's no way this is going to happen. And it's going to be the new evil. You guys have seen what it does today. Artificial intelligence. I can tell you people, are, they're worried about it. It's, it's there. You know, I get I get where it can go. I, yeah, guys, S S Skylink, I think, is, is uh, some foretold things. I see where it's at. But I also understand as a data guy, as someone that does the marketing, artificial intelligence has an amazing place in business. Now, we've been utilizing similar tactics for a long time. We have a lot of data that triggers when people come back through the system. It's all data reading stuff and reacting. You program things to react how you want it to react based on trial and error. We, we created autoresponders that did the work for us and, and, and would help create a relationship with our email lists in an automated way. You guys, I was in autoresponders before anybody even knew what they were. I found a kid that created code up in Canada about his entire company, brought it down to Utah so that we can manage it from there so I could do that. No one even knew what that was. I have several autoresponder systems as I build things. These are all marketing. And what I'm trying to get to is the marketing world drives technology more than people realize. Why? It's, it's very competitive space. If we can do anything to cut our costs and labor down, we have to do it to survive. And if I got to make something convert, you know, the website looks great. It's what happens behind it that makes it work even better and helps the conversions go. Well, you have an idea how to make it work. You can't just go to a company and buy it off the shelf. You have to build it, figure it out, hire programmers, understand programming. You know, you know whenever I, I, I like being a lead provider, and I would go sit down with, you know, potential clients and I would hear what they needed and think, oh, yeah, I can whip that out. I got this tool, this tool. They have no clue still today how that even happens, right? People get a Shopify system and it has these automation tools and it blows them. We've been using that. We've been using that stuff for, for a long, long time. And I'm going to, you know, let you guys clue in. There's a huge direction we're going. Already been on it. We're building better and better tools based on the stuff that's out there. Now, I like to think that you can use a tool for good. You can use it for evil. We're using it for good. Always. How can we make our business smarter? Okay. So I'm going to let you guys know we use chat GPT and artificial intelligence components. Now, a lot already in the marketing. And everybody knows we launched a new CRM. We launched it yesterday um, with all the instructors. 
And there's going to be a little bit of ups and downs. And I hope everybody you keep maintaining your business, maintaining your priorities. It's going to take us a while to move over there. We're all exiting Trello to a way better system. This the CRM was designed for exactly how the Triple R two four seven business works. It also has incredible additions. We're going to have the PBS Vortex out, and I got to I got to tell you guys, it replaces Response Magic completely in a very smart way. But I'm going to tell you this too. We will have artificial intelligence tied into our programs. You don't need to go out there necessarily and learn and understand it. We're doing it so that people can take advantage of it. We're doing it so that people will gain from what it gives us before people become obsolete because of it. You guys, I've watched the internet, as we all have, eliminate jobs, create pro programs and processes that eliminates lots of labor. Doors close. New doors open up. Understanding that is why we're always progressing with it. And I want you guys to understand that this new CRM, the new components we're bringing out, it's all built to go into the future for what we already know is here and coming. It's time to move ahead. And we've been building this stuff for a long time, working towards this. And, and, and you guys, we weren't going to unleash this. A lot of it, we were going to announce on the 20th, in addition to everything else. But we weren't going to fully unleash this until August. Well, let me tell you what happened. Trello made a big change that was going to cost us a lot of money to maintain. And it's not, and Trello is not the perfect solution. It, it got us a long ways, guys. It got us a long ways. However, um, um, let's see. Hold on. Um. I want you guys to understand we have so much in there and we're doing it in a way that's going to be easy to teach and for people to go into. And one of the things that this does, one of the many things that this these tools do is allows us to do a lot of the work that we don't all have to do manually. Sending the messages, doing what we call the hooks. And, and I, I got to show a couple of the instructors how this is laid out and you guys it's it's very very awesome all right and we're going to give that to every pbs owner everybody that has a pbs is going to have access to all this technology it's all tied to the pbs vortex which we're, you guys we're rolling that out here shortly very soon okay um i'm going to just kind of give you guys a glimpse of it because i want you guys to understand the future is already coming whether we want it to come or not Technology is and advancements are coming. Either we utilize them to help build our time and financial freedom, or we watch others do it. And wish, hey, I wish I would have jumped in. I wish I would have understood that. The thing that I like, one of the most amazing things I like about Triple R is when we're doing this, we're not just doing it to help our family. Like I used to do all the time, grow and advance, and it'd be great for my family. We get to help all the family. We can help everybody in Triple R two four seven. We can take the vision, help millions of families around the world, and educate them and give them the know how and the knowledge so they can benefit from this technology, not just be a spectator and wish they were part of it when it first started. You guys understand about advancements and timing. I hope. Let me tell you, timing isn't to be ready as it's been announced and the world knows about it. Timing is about being ready before the world knows about it. Timing is about being there to be set up to take advantage of it when the masses understand it. That's timing. If you are jumping in as everybody knows about it, you are already too late. You missed it. You missed it. Those who win were ready for it, saw that the advancements made preparations for it, took the risks to do all that. I'm going to tell you when it comes to technology, I've always been the guy ahead. I've not always made the best decisions like you think you do. I've, I've had, you know, great learning experiences. That's how I look at them. And every one of them led us to what we have in Triple R. Where we're going with this, you guys, it's so awesome. And the thing about it is, is we're going to teach you how it works, but it's it's automated as much as possible. 
What we want you to do is learn how to build your pages, right? Write your pages, get the right content out there. Learn how to market and place ads, gain advantage from SEO and the keyword marketing, and then absolutely help grow the teams, mainly with the V marketing because it's so effective. Okay, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to cover a couple of things, but I want you guys to be ready. Now, we're covering a lot of these things because I need you to be ready so that when we roll it out, you're like, that's what he's talking about and it makes sense, as opposed to giving you all this stuff and overwhelming you like, okay, where do I start? We're preparing you for what's going to come. All right? Now, um, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you guys some fun stuff. Um, all this type of stuff is probably going to be start coming in some of our systems. I'm just going to let you know there's so many things coming, and we're building things to add, 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 add more value to what makes the marketing work better. Now, I'm going to come here, and I'm going to go to Google and just say, how much does McDonald's spend on marketing, you know, in, in marketing. Um, I could have, I guess I could have said it differently. And this is Google. Like, where does Rory come up with these numbers, right? I tell you, they spend more than a million dollars a year. Okay. How many days are there in a year? 365. Um, well, in, in 2022, they spent 398 million. They, they spent 388 million. 0.9 million in 2023. Um, that's more than a million dollars a day, folks. And, and this is what I love about what we have today, right? I'm going to ask chat. One chat. So they're not all tied to this stuff, but I'm going to tell you, this right here soon will tell us more information than this search. So when people say artificial intelligence is scary, Google is doing artificial intelligence. They've been doing it for a long time. It's compiling data and giving you resources based on queries and, and, and predictive, predictive. Look, it's already there. If you're doing Google AdSense, we're already dealing with artificial intelligence, mapping people's wants, desires, patterns of life. Marketers have to be tied to that. I could ask this and here, but I'm going to tell you pretty soon, chat is going to be better than this because they're putting way more components and resources to answer the questions. That's really what it is. I, if you guys remember how Google search used to work and then when it became, it's in and, and it and it's what do you do with that information? How does that information help you? And we were going to want to be tying into this and in the right manner and putting articles that helps fill the information need. We're going to be doing a lot more in the blogging world because content is king, right? Content is king. And even though we got the chat GPT helping create all the content and all the stuff that's there, there is a purpose for the stuff that we do and helping resource wise to drive it. And it's all going to come around customer acquisition and the stuff that we focus on. Like I get really excited. I've had I've had people come up to me and say, do you only think you'll be, you know, artificial intelligence will take you out of the business? I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been using that stuff for a long time. It's going to make the business better. It's, it's, it's a tool, what tools? It's a tool you use, okay? Now I'm going to come here real quick. Uh, that's my dashboard. Um, we updated the video. Everybody should see the update. This is the 50 minute and 11 second one. That's the old version. There's a newer version. It's the one that we put on the biohacking page. It's slightly modified. It, they both work great. But if you want the newer version, it's there. Go to the, the triple r247.com forward slash biohacking. All the new students have it. It's 50.20. It's 10, it's it's 10 seconds longer. And I emphasize things a little differently. And I'm testing them both. This one, I like they both work great. But this is the newest one that's on there. So if you see 5020, that's a new one. 5010 is old. And I'll be working on new versions of this as we go, but it's been working tremendously. You guys want to know how the guy in Israel came in? He watched the video. Watch the video. 
Crazy, right? Amazing. Now, we're going to be marketing a lot more with this and the way it goes out there. Our biohacking page, become a customer, become a member. The way this is all on there, we're going to be spending a lot more time on that. It's working. That's why. We are also going to be doing a lot more acquisitions with our customers. Now, the reason why I brought up 1F16 is I'm going to go to visit my site. I, I brought this up um, for people to see. I did it on Saturday. This right here is actually our new PBS Vortex. Um, and it's going to look even better than this. But this is the new one that ties into our lead CRM system for us to automate responses and build our online community, email lists, and all the stuff that we're going to be marketing from. This is going to re replace the response magic already. Okay. This stuff is going to start being rolled out literally in the next weeks. All right. It's, it's coming, right? And I'm not going to wait until April 20th to release this if it's ready. The sooner we start using this, the better. Everybody that has a response magic list, don't worry. You guys will download it, send it through. We're going to upload it and, and get it all sequentially um, set in here. It, you guys, it, We've got it all specced out. I've been, we've been running on this. But I'm going to let you guys know we, we got the code stuff done, everything tied in, and there's a lot more coming. All right? And I wanted you guys to have a glimpse of this so that you can you can be thinking about it as you you do your meditations and stuff at night. Now I'm going to come back here to the CRM and I, and I want to I want to paint a picture for you. We're going to go out there and do what we do best, right? Our functionality is have a, do do what I call it the BRT process, right? We're going to talk to as many people as we can to build our teams. And this is for instructors, right? And students, every student should want to become an instructor, pay it forward to others. Even if you only work with a few people, it all adds up, okay? In addition to that, we're going to be creating content and we're going to be posting ads and we're going to be doing it in a way that we gather leads, gather traffic, and mature a list of people to communicate with. We are all doing it on the premise of an online community, which is what we're building. And we're going to be sharing information and products and things that enhance their life in a very methodical way that is going to be done for everybody. You don't need to think about it. You don't need to write it all out. We just focus on the content, doing the marketing, getting the keywords, the SEO, doing the BRT, the systems, multiple systems tied into a complete network, an ecosystem is going to be doing all the extra work for us, all the heavy lifting. As a CEO, my job is to create as much time as possible for you. Anything that can be automated, we automate. Anything that can be automated, we automate. Anything that needs to be high touch, we make it high touch, we focus on it. And we want to make sure that every friction point is resolved or minimized or reduced or eliminated. You guys have been seeing us do this over the months and the, the last couple of years. 2023, we got rid of a lot of friction points. 2024, we've already eliminated more. The new CRM gave hours of time every day to our awesome instructors and MSIs, gave it right back to them. They all got to fill that, except for a couple of them that do some functions in the morning. Everybody got to fill that starting today. We are better for it. We have better tools. We're going to have better hooks. When people are ready to communicate, we're going to be able to do all that. They're going to be able to drive them in. We're going to make our time and our, and our ascension marketing and our effectiveness more complete in ways we never could do before. And we're not going to do it after everybody else sees it. We're doing it before anybody even knows they can do that. We have some incredible minds in the family that see the technology and go, you know what? I bet you we can do this. And we test it out. And then we get it at it. We are going to an incredible new platform with the PBS Vortex that's going to allow us to gain. See, if we're making more money than it costs us to operate, we win, right? That's what the tools come into. We just found a way to reduce the overhead to do the system right and get more out of it. That's smart business. Reducing costs, increasing profitability. That's what we've done. And we're, you guys are going to be getting that all over the next weeks. And then we launch this. And we're going to be able to market the school program. We're going to be marketing Bella Vita in ways you guys never even thought of. You don't have to. You're part of a system. You, you guys, we are going to be doing so much more. We got it all proven out. Do you know 
we're going to be getting in 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 so many nooks and crannies of exposure and that's what marketing is right it's exposure right it's the conveyance of an idea getting in front of people that are looking for things getting people to poke around and discover things on their own because they came in through the marketing house all of that gets better with this technology so all these people that are so concerned about you know well that artificial intelligence is going to get wipe away your business First of all, they don't understand my business, if that's what they're thinking. Our business, if that's what they're thinking. Second, this artificial intelligence, once you understand what it is and what it really is and how it affects us, it's just going to make us more money. And it gets rid of a lot of our overhead costs. You guys, there are so much to this coming in there. Now, we all got to learn how to use it, right? Uh, you know, a hammer in the hands of the right person does great things. The hammer in the hands of a wrong person usually causes damage, Right? And, and I, I'm going to say this, you know, when I when I went and worked with my uncle in the construction company, I I I, I got to deal with all the framers, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the you know the the electric hammers, right? And, and throwing stuff in. I know there's another term for it. And then you got the people just you know with the the good old craftsman hammer. A lot of them are just craftsmen, solid hammers. The ones that have been doing it for a long time with that hammer, they were unbelievable how fast they were with that hammer and going through. Now, the nail guns, the electric hammer, right? They have a great purpose. Da, 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 da. But when you look at the work when they were done, those with the hammer and the skill still outdid those nail guns every time. Things weren't off. Things were straight. Unbelievable watching that happen. Same thing. That's, that's my analogy for the tools here. A lot of people like to run out there and just blast stuff out there. You guys, we are going to be doing so much with precision. And we're going to build it where you don't have to know the precision. You just do what we teach you to do. So you only have to spend so much time. You don't have to do all this extra work. You guys, we were not taking advantage of the response magic autoresponder system because not everybody was writing this stuff. It's time consuming. You won't have to do that with this. For once, I get to, well, not for once. You guys, I get all my wish lists with this. We've been building it out. All, we're going to have a team, a copyright team, that's going to be writing stuff, testing it, and when it works, we just add it. It just works for you. You just put stuff in, we're going to come control it all. The difference is, is we're not trying to do it as a big company. We're doing it as a big family, and we're trying to raise everybody up. And everybody's going to have their set priorities, the stuff they need to do, and it's about consistency. If everybody does the right things, even a little bit consistently, we all rise up. That's what it's about. You don't need to like, you know, work. You guys, it's about working smarter, not just harder. It's about, it's about being smart about it and using technology. Well, we just have some amazing minds on the technology already. And I wanted you guys to understand that as a business meeting today, right? This is, this is a business meeting on Tuesdays. You know, now I'll let you know who you're dealing with. Then I get to deal with you and teach you what's going on. That's every Tuesday. And you guys, we have a lot of students that don't come on the Tuesdays. They catch their replays. That's fine. Those that are ready for it, the timing is going to be ours because we're going to be able to run with it quicker. I'm going to tell you, the things we're putting into place are going to allow bigger things to happen because we're going to be ready for them. We'll already be able to deploy it. We're already going to have traffic and lists to, 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 to monopolize our information out to so that we can get the word out there. You know, if you don't have, it doesn't matter how great your product or service is, if you don't have a way to market it, it's not gonna sell itself. We're building the marketing and distribution. You guys, we are all distributions of information. Information on products, information on services, and the bigger our reach is, the more valuable we are. Individually, and especially as a family, doing it all together. The power of consensus is real. You guys, we're building these memes out. We're getting them more integrated. You guys are going to start seeing components where those memes are going to be automatically sent out for you to places. This has all been a big, wide open plan, guys. And we're getting closer to it. So I'm getting more excited because that thought, what if we can do this? And how about this? And then you start putting it together and you find out how to do that. And that's what's fun for me. Hey, I'm going to tell you, we've got some amazing partners, and these are long-term relationships. And we get to do a lot of things, and we're going to have tools that no one else is even going to be thinking of yet. And we're going to be deploying them. It's all going to be part of the PBS and everything we put in there. It's all going to be part of the, that PBS Vortex. Guys, we, it is so awesome. And I want you guys just to understand it. Philosophically, 
so that when we're ready to start using it, you understand why we're doing it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just bring this in. Email marketing is not dead. SMS marketing is thriving, not dead. But email marketing is like the radio. Have you guys ever heard the radio is going to be out of business? Right? Oh, television. No, we're not going to need the radio anymore. The guys, the radios do great. Still, it's a form of communication. Email still does great. Form of communication. And, you, and they've been regulating it and making it through. It's all pay to play now. Okay. We knew that day was coming. All tied into the vortex. So let me explain what the artificial intelligence for us does. Lead comes in. Based on the response, it can trigger it. If they're looking at one of our videos, they're looking at some of our stuff, we, we're going to know and it's going to send them an alert to get them to be to connect with us. Stuff like that. Stuff that just makes us look like we have an army behind us. That's the stuff we're talking about. Now, writing. Um, what Do you want some help to write an article? Hmm, I want to bet you we can build that stuff out there. Put some special proprietary things in there that kicks things out to kind of work with Google and the uh, algorithms that are tested out so we can kick out content easier or better, at least get the direction of it or the direction that is being seeked for, sought after, that people are caring about, right? Those things, the things that we do manually now that take hours, we'll be able to whip out and we can look at trends. You guys, remember, we have a big marketing house called our Performance Blogging System or PBS, if we can write an article that brings an extra five people a minute, a day, a month, that's a win. If we can start bringing 50 people in extra, 100, 200, 1,000, 2,000, we're making money in Google AdSense, we're making money in the products and everything else we're doing, that's what we're here to do, gain exposure. If we have these tools that are put in place to be to help attract and create a, a marketing list to go through there to build that online relationship and trust, that's what this does. And I'll, I'll tell you this, they've been using it already in every social media platform. Big tech does it. Google does it better than anybody. And they've been doing it for a long time. There are partners. We partner with Google. So the more we tie into this stuff, the more it's going to help feed everything. That's where the wins happen. And we do it, you guys, at a very low cost of operation. And the heavy costs, Tanya and I fund. Why? Because this stuff works. Okay. 10 o'clock, I got to get on the CRM with um, with um, MSIs. I gotta, I'm going to share with something with them that's going to blow their mind today. Um, again, like, I, like I'm not letting them sleep much. And everybody has some patience to get that over there. If you're not an instructor yet, maybe you just started in step one and you're, you're figuring things out. I want you to be into step two. Become an instructor. Even if you're in training, get in that. You guys, this new CRM and all these tools, you want to get exposure to it so you understand it. Think of it like having a brand new computer. You never had one before, right? First, you just use it like a word processor. Then you find out there's some games you can play. Then you find out, oh, I can listen to music on this too. It's going to be like that. The more you, you, the more you practice and play around with it, the better you're going to become. The more your brain's going to figure it out. Okay, tonight. As you're hopefully meditating, meditate on positivity before you go to sleep always. But I want you to focus on tonight as a suggestion. What are your goals and how are you going to accomplish them? Right? And what do you? how can you utilize your Triple R247 businesses to get those goals to, to, to become a reality? Think about it. Get in that pattern and that mindset. We're going to cover more of that here coming up too because the problem is, is you have all the tools to make it happen. We don't just tell you how great it is to accomplish dreams. We're doing it, and we're giving you all the tools to do it yourself. You just got to show up and take advantage of it. Well, do you know why a lot of people don't do it? They don't have the mindset and understanding and tools. Well, that's what we're here to do on the Tuesdays as well. By the way, Saturday, we're going to be getting more things ready for the 20th. We're, we're doing a lot of PBS cleanup, and it's, there's always a direction on it. Great. Right. God bless everyone. Tomorrow, Brain Food Academy, um, open house. Get used to that. Um, and uh, see you on the other trainings. Thursday will be um, more cleanup work. You might be coming on there. We're, we're, we're vacillating. So we have things we got to get done before the 20th. We have a deadline. And we want you not to be without the understanding and knowledge so you can take advantage of it. Again, it's about timing.
And timing isn't about being ready when everybody knows about it. It's about being ready before everybody knows about it so that when everybody knows about it, you're winning because you're already in the place.